Hello, and welcome to my abode. I sleep outside. Today I'd like to talk about David Cronenberg's remake of The Fly, and how the delivery of one line defines its complete contrast to the original, and also embodies what makes a great remake. There's probably a line that you missed. What the hell are you talking about? I know that movie line for line. I'm talking about a line that was made famous by the original, and still makes its way into the remake completely unnoticed. Be afraid, be very afraid? Nope. I know this one. What? His cock? I don't think that was in the original. I know. Uh, uh. Just tell me what the bloody line is. I will, but first let's talk about what makes a great remake. Here we go. In my opinion, The Fly is the best remake of all time. What about The Thing? Okay, sorry, one of the best remakes of all time. Damn right. Because like The Thing, it wasn't trying to improve on something that was already great. Both The Thing and The Fly were low-budget B-movies based off of short stories. The Fly short story was written by George Langelin and published in the 1957 edition of Playboy. Both versions of The Fly tell the story of a scientist who accidentally fuses his own DNA with a fly trying to create a transportation device. I tried that once. Oh yes, and how did that turn out? Not good. The 1958 version of The Fly was probably pretty terrifying upon its release, but now it comes off a little campy. <gasps> We're going camping? The original had a scientist walking around with a lab coat and a giant fly head. Very handsome. In the remake, we saw the gradual physical and mental transformation of a man into a monster. Get to the goddamn point. Hans, roll the clip. I thought we were going camping. That scene and that line are the two most iconic parts of the original fly. At the time, it was probably a shocking scene. Today, it comes off a little cheesy and not all that scary. I think it's scary. I have seen the 1986 remake so many damn times ever since I was a kid, and I never even noticed that that line was in the movie. Because it isn't. No, it's because of the delivery of the line that it goes completely unnoticed. It actually wasn't until I decided to watch the original theatrical trailer for the 86 Fly that I realized this line was in the movie. Hans, roll clip. I heard that line and my heart sank for two reasons. One is that I never realized that that help me line was even in the movie. Number two is the delivery of the line is terrifying and haunting. Woo. I still don't think that line's in the movie, it's just in the trailer. I wasn't sure if this line was actually in the movie either, so I went back and watched the movie and there it was. Help me. Please. Please help me. Right in my face, plain as day, and I never even noticed it until I watched the trailer first. You didn't notice it because you are a bloody idiot. And let's talk about why I never noticed it. It's because of the delivery. It's in such stark contrast to the original that you don't even realize it's referencing that line. Oh, it's one big coincidence. But if it's a coincidence, why is it in the trailer? And why is it the last thing you hear as the screen goes black? Help me. Please help me. Okay, maybe it was on purpose. Jeff Goldblum's delivery of this line embodies exactly what a remake should do. It takes something that worked at the time, but has now become cliche, and it made it serious and scary and tragic again. I always cry when she blows his head off. <laughs> David Cronenberg took the most memorable part of the original film and made it almost completely forgettable in his remake, which is very interesting. It is exactly what a great remake should do. Why recreate an already iconic moment? Imagine if Cronenberg decided to recreate that moment for his movie. Yeah, would have been fucking horrible. Great remakes like The Fly take elements from the original that don't stand up anymore and reimagine them instead of just relying on what already worked. Listen to the difference again. Please, please help me. Even if you haven't seen either movie before, I'm sure you can detect the tonal differences between the two, just from the delivery of the same piece of dialogue. Which movie is more serious? The remake. Which movie do you think will move you more emotionally? The remake. Which has more realistic acting? The remake. You can guess all that from the delivery of the same line. 
You can? Yes, you can, which is brilliant. Oh, he is a genius and Canadian. Thank you, Natasha. David Cronenberg, silly, not you. This is why maybe remake isn't the best term to define movies such as The Fly, The Thing, and even Suspiria because there are more reimaginings than a remake. It's taking the original concept of the movie and building it from the ground up with its own identity, set of values, and soul. Using better actors and effects to pull off a more serious and emotional telling of the same story. Like Ghostbusters 2016? Hey, don't get me started on that one. Don't get him started! Well, that can be a discussion for another day. So what do you guys think? Is the inclusion of the iconic Help Me line from the 1958 Fly in the 86 remake just coincidence? Or was it intentional? And if so, isn't it just a perfect embodiment of the tonal differences between the two movies? Personally, I think the delivery of that one line in the remake is a perfect example of how to approach a great remake. Let me know, what do you guys think? I think you're full of shit. Can we go camping now?